Oh, oh no. <laughs> Hi guys, it is me, Miss Match Blossom, on another hiatus kick. Go, let's go, let's get up. Hi guys, so today, it has been a very long time since I've made another video and I might be a little bit nervous, but we're gonna go ahead and do this. Hi guys, my name is Miss Matcha Blossom and I am a Hanfu enthusiast and beginner and also very interested into the Hanfu culture along with its ancient garments and understanding it more. Join on the journey with me by hitting the like and subscribe for this video and channel, but also hit a comment down below what you like about Hanfu. But today, I thought I'd go back to my roots and keep it a little simple, uh, which is a uh, Hanfu unboxing. So I did buy four different Hanfu, so I don't know which one I got this time around, but we will see because I have my dog on my tripod. We're bringing out the gloves. Yes, we've we've un upgraded to Velcro. I always put on gloves whenever I get something new like this until I've washed it myself because one, I'm allergic to fragrances and clothing, so I gotta be careful. And two. I don't like things on my skin, I break out very easily, so I have to be careful. I have this big bag. I don't know which Hanfus are in it, but we're gonna find out. I think this one's a Hanfu, I think. Is this a Hanfu? It is! Okay, sorry. So I have a small bag and I have another bag in there that looks like two different Hanfus. So that's why I'm, I'm trying to figure this out, sorry. I'm not gonna link down where I got it from because I get bullied way too much where I get my stuff from and people bully me. Even though they probably know nothing about Hanfu, if they do know about Hanfu, they're not really talking about themselves, they just like to berate someone else. But anyways, so I'm not gonna leave any more links anymore. Sorry, not sorry. Um, so let's see what this Hanfu looks like. Ooh. Oh yeah, I remember this one. This is the simple blue one. Why is it already ripped? It's an extra large, right? Why is this already ripped? What happened in custom? What are we all doing in custom? So, if you obviously can see the design, it looks very pretty. Um, it's very simple. Once again, cheap hand foods, you get that simple. And it's okay to have some simple hand foods. And sometimes, if you don't want to make one, just go and buy one. But just still have respect for the original makers. In hand food terms, I'm an extra large because I'm a 5'7", so super tall. <laughs> uh, all right, we're just gonna, it, it won't let me open it. It just tears the bag even more, so we're just, we're just gonna take it out of the bag, all right. And it is very simple, of course, chiffon, like very sheer, transparent. Did something fall? Oh, it did! Wait, oh, it's a camisole, so this is a... Oh, my brain. You guys haven't seen my video where it breaks down the different types of, like, negi, but this is one of them. I'll put the names of each piece right on the side. So this is like more of the camisole that you wear for under this, I believe the Song Dynasty Hanfu. And I really like how simple it is. I like how sheer it is. I, I used to bully it a lot, but if you're wanting more authentic stuff, then yeah, this isn't up your alley. But for me, for someone who stays at home most of the time when I'm not working, this is great. And my boobs are smaller, but if you have bigger boobs, just remember, you can always make your own. I will try to put a video somewhere where you can make your own. If not, I will do a video myself of making my own so you guys can see how to make your own for your own chest size, whether you're male or female, or whatever you want to do, right? This one comes, it's more modernized because it has an stretch elastic. If you want that in yours, then feel free to. But yeah, this is what I have for the camisole. Now we're gonna go to the top part of it, which is more the brew of the jacket, like kind of like the, the blouse. Okay, so this looks like a top, like a Chishan root chin would, but of course it's more of a, like a, a blouse jacket in a way, like a cardigan. The embroidery on either side of the placket, which is the collar, the blue thing you see right there, that's a placket. This is what it looks like up close. Hopefully I can get it for you guys right up over here. Come on, come on, show, show mama some love. Show mama some love. All right, oh my God, why are you doing this? So this is the purplish, why is it wrinkled right there? You can tell it hasn't been ironed and it's like simply put on because of the fabric is is turning in like towards the the, the patch itself. Yeah, see, and it, it's very pretty, but you can tell it was very rushed job because like it wasn't even ironed or folded properly. It's folded, but it's like kind of thrown in there, especially because the bag, I don't know if Customs did that or if it was the actual seller and it ripped along the way, or Customs was trying to check to see if there's anything in there, which it really isn't. Um, this is the top part of it. I'm gonna go ahead and see the bottom. Let's see how transparent the bottom is. This one isn't ripped, right? It looks like it should be thick enough, but I've always been fooled before. Ooh. Okay. And the reason why I'm getting more blue is because I've been told blue looks really nice on me besides pink, but 
I like my pastel. Oh. <laughs> I like my pastel. Oh, okay. Uh, because I have my gloves on today. Um, this actually feels thicker when I first held it, and it really does. I don't know because I haven't washed it yet to feel it on my actual fingers, but so far it's looking okay, but it is folded in half. It does have a lining. I do like that. Um, it still might be transparent for some people. The fabric on the inside is a good lining from what you've seen, but if you look up closer, if I can get my hands on this thing, um, it still somewhat is transparent to a certain degree. So this is the Hanfu of the first one. Um, I like it because it's simple. I wanted more simple Hanfus because once again, summer is coming. My birthday's coming up. When I go visit people and I wear my Hanfu like to certain required events or photography pictures, right? Because I do have my sister who takes pictures. I want to look like comfortable in my Hanfu for that season. I do have a red Hanfu coming up and it's supposed to be like a wintry-ish, like Chinese lunar, lunar, if not like Christmas inspired because it's red and white and I'm really excited for that one. That one I'm so psyched for. That one is literally my favorite, my favorite. But, um, let's go ahead and go to the scene of me wearing this Hanfu because now that I've washed it, I've pressed it and I've let it dry and all that, Let's go ahead and see what my cord looks like and what I feel about the afters of wearing it. Oh, let's go to that clip right now. Okay, so now that I've worn the Hanfu, worn it correctly, took pictures with it, kind of like got an understanding of it, here's my opinion of it. Sorry if I'm not speaking loud, it's like four in the morning. I apologize, but I'm gonna try to sound as loud as I can without just... If I were to give it a rating system, I'm gonna be honest, I don't like the transparency too much. I didn't think it'd be that transparent. I thought it'd be just a little bit more opaque to where it's still like a sheer fabric, but not where it's like super sheer. If that, if because you, you know where my armpit is now on this this thing now, it looks like it's been wet and now people can see through my clothing. So while this is still a good outfit for the summer, it's still not like Hanfu aesthetically okay because it looks like more of a fairy Hanfu. I'll put the name of it right here in Chinese or Mandarin, whatever tone this is in sorry anyways so it's more of a fashion inspired very cheap hanfu it kind of sits very weird for me um it sits like three to four inches above my belly button because the way the um the roux for the roux chin uh the way there the ties are uh the waistband has to go above it so you don't see it some hanfus do have that it's not saying it's not hanfu it's just that's how some of them are created for the Doi Jin, Doi Jin? I'll put that name up there too, if I'm butchering it, sorry. In a picture, so you understand. It looks a little different. Maybe this might be a Mojing for a Doi Jin, if I'm correct, like the undergarments that you wear around your house. More of like a Zhang Yi, like a lounge wear. Uh, go check out my video if you don't know about ancient underwear. It helps out guide into it a bit more. So you're a bit more understanding towards it. Even though they try to make it look aesthetic, like you can go outside with it, you still can. But it might not be the Hanfu you're looking for if you want something like a Waii, which is an outer layer. So I can still wear this, but I'm going to be honest, it either feels like it's made for a different size, or it just feels like it's made to stay inside if you're looking for a historical, or like, what can I wear to this? You can still technically wear it outside, okay? but it wouldn't be counted as like, kind of like Hanfu in 
a certain sense. It'd be more modern hanfu because of the sheerness, the way it's like modernized. Even though the skirt is very wrapped dress, it's still, it feels like either the skirt is too small for me because it rises above my ankle if it goes too high up on my waist here. Me from my review of it, I like it though because it's blue, it's very simple. It's great for me for the summer. I personally, just from off of my judgments, I might wear this inside the house. It's a bit too see-through. If you can see I'm wearing a red bra to kind of give an example. If I were to give this a rating system for the Hanfu, like out of a school grade, I want to say, uh, should I give it a B minus? It's kind of high. I would say a B minus or a C plus, really, just because of the way how translucent the translucent it is and how it kind of fits kind of weird on my body even though i bought it either in large if not the extra large it's pretty but it's not enough to make me feel comfortable to wear this outside if i had to give this a review i'd get it a c plus c minus just because of the translucency and how it fits on my body but just remember when you're buying cheap hanfu or just hanfu on the internet Make sure you're looking at how the fabric is laying on the person. Not only that, how the outfit is laying. What are the sizings? Even if it's centimeters, you always want to get a size bigger anyway, slightly. If you know it can fit you, get a size bigger to slightly bigger than yours because sometimes those two to four centimeters, if not one to two centimeters, make a difference in how it lays on a person's body. That's my opinion on it. Let's go back to Matcha in the Review unboxing. All right, guys. So with that, that leaves us at the end of the video. I hope you liked my review. What did you think about the Hanfu in your best opinion? And also, what other types of Hanfus do you want me to review? Um, if you have any questions, I actually still take questions down below and I turn it into a YouTube idea, excuse me, a YouTube video. And it helps out a lot of people more than you really know. So feel free to ask questions that are respectfully respectful. <laughs> with that said, Thank you guys so much for watching, but before you go, do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button. It not only helps me let YouTube know that you're watching my videos and are interested, but it also lets YouTube know that this is the kind of videos that you're looking for. So thank you guys so much once again. Don't forget to spread peace, love, and happiness, and it is only up to you to make every day beautiful. I'll see you ladies and gents later. Bye! Bye, 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 bye. Boom. I kind of started off there because I really wanted to know more about Hanfu, but this Hanfu, Jack, get out of the bathroom. Hi guys, if you guys do not know who I am, hello, my name is Miss Matcha Blossa. I, la, 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 la. Miss Matcha Blossom. let's try that again. Um, This is more of a straight sleeve kind of like Zhang, Zhang something I'll put at the top. I'm sorry, my brain is dying.